The Tampa Bay Chamber and its members are actively working to make an impact in our local business community. That includes support for minority owned businesses with programs designed to help owners build on growth and overcome barriers. Here to tell us more are community business leaders Derek Mateos and Edwin Narain. Gentlemen, welcome. Thank you, thank you for having us. Oh, it's our pleasure. Derek, let's begin with you and the Minority Business Accelerator. I know that that's a program geared towards supporting and uplifting black and Hispanic businesses here in Tampa Bay. Have you seen it already make an impact in our community? Uh, absolutely, uh, first and foremost, thanks thanks for having me here today. It's an honor and a pleasure, especially being here with Mr. Narain. Uh, the, the Minority Business Accelerator program has been amazing for, for us at MACCON. I mean, it, it has really moved the needle for us. It was something that we we just set out to to join the the chamber and and uh, you know found out about the program. We joined. We we're so happy that we did. Um, we've covered topics that that you know financial topics, strategy, growth. Um, and in these monthly sessions, the program goes on for two years, and it, it just really helps business owners uh, like myself to to work on your business and not in your business. So it's it's uh, the support and the leadership that the chamber has given to the program. It's pretty eye opening. Um, there's been already several cohorts that have gone through the program and proud to announce that we are, uh, uh, my wife and I, we co-chair the 22 uh, cohort and uh, there's six great, amazing mm -hmm. growing companies that are uh, willing to take this journey and, uh, and be part of what's, uh, what's happening at the chamber and in the community. Wonderful. And Edwin, I know that you started a program as well, the Empowerment Program. Uh, you and AT&T started this to support and empower black business owners. Can you tell me a little bit about, more about that program? Sure. I think uh, last year in the wake of all of the social unrest that we saw in our country, it kind of unearthed for a lot of people the glaring inequality that was still there, not just in the local community, but across the, the business world. And so when you look at minority businesses, oftentimes they struggle for um, having access to capital, which is a big problem right now. We saw that with the PPP loan process. And a young man, Kevin Craig, in our company, <clears throat> excuse me, from Jacksonville, came up with this great idea that AT&T took, and we launched it all across the state of Florida to provide scholarships for minority businesses that needed access to the chamber. And somebody's thinking, well, why the chamber? Because that's where you can get mentoring and that's where you can build the relationships you need to help grow a business. So what started as an idea for us, where we were gonna provide eight scholarships, we, we threw it out there as a challenge. And to the credit of this business community, instead of ha having eight scholarships, we ended up with 21 wow. as other companies matched our donation. That is phenomenal. And, and the end game, do you see this not only helping these businesses, but ultimately creating a more diverse and, and successful uh, local business community in general? That's exactly it. Um, that is exactly the purpose, is to have our chamber look like the community that it's within. Mm -hmm. And while we're doing that, we're also helping those businesses to gain the access they're gonna need to be successful. So a win, it's a win-win for both, both for the chamber and for the business. Sounds wonderful. Edwin, Derek, thank you both for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you. If you'd like more information on the Empowerment Program or the Minority Business Accelerator, visit tampabaychamber.com slash MBA. We'll be right back.